What is going on, guys? It's the Crow 20 coming to a little life review update on this wonderful, wonderful world we live in. And yes, that is sarcasm, because I know that our world is fucked up at some point. But this, this video is very, very different from the videos I do a lot. Um, I don't talk about problems in my life, usually, but uh, I think this one kind of does matter. Um, if you know him, uh, this is, uh, this YouTuber actually hits home with a lot of things he says, even though he makes a video about himself being a raging gamer that has a really bad anger management and stuff like that, and he talks about his opinion on video games and life itself and of uh, communities and, and the um, social media and all kinds of other things involving the world that makes, like, everything that makes the world go round and function correctly. Um, Boogie2988, a.k.a. Francis, um, he uh, made two videos that actually make really good points about video gamings and gamers and people who are uh, bigots. Bigots basically means that you are racist towards people who are a different skin tone than you or from a different country. You're racist towards them. Um, you're sexist towards women who play video games. Um, and you're, you're, you have a hatred for disabled people. And then, basically, these people just hate and hate on people who aren't exactly like them. And they have a lot of different similarities, or just different differences, and everything like that. And I, I have to agree with half the things that he says about this, is that it's ridiculous, it's out of control, and I just don't like it. I mean, technically, that's called bullying. <laughs> I mean, I can relate, because I can actually say something about this. It is unbelievable. I hate that the fact that there's people on things like Call of Duty, Halo, and all kinds of other things that make fun of you for how you play, or tell you that you should kill yourself because you suck at this game, and other kinds of other things. Um, I think it's ridiculous, and stuff like that, and it, I don't know why it doesn't stop guys that are sexist towards girls just because they want to piss them off, or they're trying to make a trolling video. It's not really necessary. I don't think that's necessary at all. Uh, I mean, a, a, a couple days ago, I was playing on Halo Reach with my buddy. Um, he finally got an Xbox Live after years of not having it. And I, I helped him uh, hook it up and everything. And we got on Halo Reach because that was the one game he really liked playing. So I played it, and then there was these two people, a girl and a guy. Um, this guy was making fun of me because I sounded weird. And then the girl was just making fun of me because she says I, she thinks I didn't get laid and that I'm probably gay and a faggot and stuff like that. She was calling me all these really, really mean things and I didn't even do anything to them. Literally, I did not do anything to them. And then they kept shooting me and they wouldn't leave me alone. They were on my own team. They were on the blue team with me. And they were just trying to hurt me, like they were trying to kill me, make me look bad and stuff like that. So I ran into the water because I knew what they were trying to do. And then they kept dissing at me and dissing at me and dissing at me and it got really out of hand that I kind of I kind of exploded on them, like I kind of screamed and said things to them just to make them feel like shit. And that was my bad because I have a lot of anger issues due to the fact that I have a lot of problems at the moment. But I'm not going to even get into it because I know you guys don't want to hear about my life story right now. But I'm just going to say that there is a lot of people out there that make fun of me. I mean, I, I still get made fun of for playing games like um, Halo 4 because it's just stupid and how they made the multiplayer. I love Halo because of the freaking storyline. I don't care about the freaking multiplayer. I've played Halo since I was like, what, maybe eight, 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 seven years old? And I still play it today. It's my game. It's my childhood. I love Halo. You can't hate me just because I played this game longer than you and I don't do as well as you do. Or because I, I die less than I die more than you do. So what? The the death ratio does not matter on your your skill to play a game. At least you can play a game, and half the time it's not even about the actual competition. It's just about the game itself. And and then um, just fun games that I play with my friends, like GI Joe. This is a fun game. I mean, I like playing it when my friends are around and they want to play like a little little zoomed out platformer game. I, I yeah, I'll play games like this with them. And then Walking Dead, Survival Instinct. They said that game sucks. Why did I play it? I should I should probably kill myself because I play games like this. And then guys that were playing Battlefield 4 saw that I was playing Payday 2 were telling me, dude, you're so fucking stupid. Why would you play a gay ass game like that and stuff like that? And then they're telling me. And I shouldn't. I should uh, just just give up on life and hide hide in my room because I play games like Call of Duty Ghost because it sucks and the spawns and the maps and and all this bullshit. And then they tell me, "Wow, dude, you really should stop playing Deadpool because it's not even a real game. It's just based off a comic book. If it's based off a comic book, I think I would have heard about the actual comic book 
knowing, no, and like it being the exact same way as this game. It, it, it's just ridiculous on the freaking level of how many people are out there that actually are sexist, racist, homophobic to people who are homosexual on Xbox and PlayStation and all that other things. It's just ridiculous. I don't think that it's really necessary. I mean, where did this all come from? Where did all of this uh, bigot? Where all of these bigots come from? I don't like that all these people are out there. I mean, I can't say that I have never hated in my life because if you're a bigot, you you have to have hate. You have to have hate for something. But I've only ever had hate for something or someone as if I've literally had so much anger built up or if I've been pushed to the limit is when I want to just break out of break out in flames and just start wailing on people with words and, 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 and the tone of my voice. That's the only time I've ever hated somebody, but then eventually it would dim down in like a day or an hour later, and then I'd, I'd be fine the next day. Um, it's, I, I'm not a bigot. I don't think I, that people that are homo, hom, that are homosexual should, should stop playing games because they're homosexual. I don't hate that they're homosexual. They, they are who they are. They, yeah, and then I don't have a problem with gay, girls playing video games because I welcome them as like they're uh, uh, another human being because that's what they are. They're human beings. Just because they have boobs and don't have dicks like we do doesn't mean they're not human doesn't mean that they're any less than us. They have blood in their streams, of their veins, they have brains, they have hearts, they have lungs, they have stomachs, they have liver. We all are the same, basically. It's just the different body parts that don't really matter. And then we have different voices. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Just because they're girls doesn't mean they can't play video games. And doesn't mean that they're not able to play video games at all if they don't know how to if they don't want to. It doesn't mean that they're completely unable to play video games for their whole entire life. Because that's beside the point. They can play video games, it's just they have the choice to. It's their choice. It's not your choice. It's not up to you to tell them that they suck because they don't play video games. And if you hate people who are disabled, that's just terrible because they can't help that they were born that way or if they just met, if they just got that way because of an accident. They can't help that. They didn't have any control over that. And you should never hate somebody because of their freaking disabilities or their disorders or their, that they just can't, they can't do the things that we do. That's, in, that's insane. That's selfish. That's rude. And, and then the racism... I'm Mexican on the inside, and people make fun of me because I'm not Mexican. They try and say that I'm not Mexican because I'm too white. Well, just because I'm white does not mean I'm not Mexican. You don't know my family, you don't know my heritage, and you definitely don't know my religion or where my family comes from. That's not your call. You have no right to say that I'm white, and you have no right to, right to label me and then make fun of me for it. That's ridiculous, and it's... I just think that Boogie two ninety eight, you are exactly right about everything that you've explained in the last two videos about video games and video gamers and all that stuff. It, it was absolutely spot on, and I'm just here to support you by your opinion and say that you are not alone. I do to believe that there is too much chaos in the video gaming industries and media and all this other stuff. I don't think it's necessary at all. It's just terrible. I really do think. I hope that maybe in some time in the future it'll end. But who knows? This world is just going to take turns and, and do uh, 180s and everything. It's, it's just going to happen. It's going to happen. It's not going to just say, oh, you know what? We're just, we're just going to go ahead and do whatever people want. Because the world doesn't like work like a computer. It doesn't do what you want to do when you want to do it. You'd have to basically put work into it. And it's up to the world if it wants to change. Because it's not really entirely up to one person. Um, I, I just think that it's crazy. I agree with Boogie. I am not a bigot. Um, I absolutely love every human being in this entire world, whether they be disordered or homo, 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 homosexual, um, uh, different skin tone, and uh, any and it, or sex. I don't care. It's the world. We are all human beings in a way. We, in our own way, we are human. We are human. And I think I focus on most, the most important version of us all being human is just by our body parts, basically. The ones that really matter, that really resemble us as human beings. Um, but other than that, that's all I have to share. I just really thought I'd have to get this out there and explain why I think that um, bigots are really a big problem. But thank you guys for watching. If you agree with anything I've said, go ahead, check out Boogie2988's channel, and then leave a comment down on my channel. Subscribe, leave a like, and 
tell me if you agree with anything I've said. If you disagree, be, be kind and respectful of my comments and do respect other people's comments because it matters about their opinion to me. And it also matters about your opinion as well. If you have an opinion that, I, that you want to speak about, be free to go ahead and do so. I won't stop you and I won't fight you about it because you are speaking your own mind. Alright, well that's all I have to share for you guys today. Have a good day.